remember to buy wax. We're almost out of candles. Hey, I heard Carl talking about water restrictions last night. Know anything about it, Aiden? going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegade is about to attack. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to. He had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Thought. A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside. 
and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kinda shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Coriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <sighs> Don't keep them waiting. No 
time for delay. Passage to the center. We are free people. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Thanks, coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim? Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out before you piss at me. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. Take this. A little sweetness for the sourpuss. Uh, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom. Both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. And not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. That's a bad omen. Have you seen a ginger with a mohawk? Bastard stole my last bottle of water. Back in the day, Pilgrim. I had a I huge and massive and well and the night runners are a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. This is a family run shop. In know anything about Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits who that fellow uh, 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 sophie's brother huh? what was the asshole's name barney the asshole's name is barney and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals yeah, that's news to me so where is that dark zone 
It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Right, thanks. Swear <laughs> and be this, uh, <laughs> someone's been laid out. Nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. What are you up to these days, Aiden? What did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. The fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. That boy came from nothing but trouble. Better for Sophie if he didn't come back. Listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal. Maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Yeah! <laughs> 
Sophie has interesting oh people with her. Like a pillow. I don't know what to do about it. Being a loser of a year for me, too. Doesn't the sound of the shovel seem too loud to you sometimes? 